Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Magic here coming at you with a new video on how to uncap your FPS or set it at a specific FPS to where it just kind of tops out at. Uh, on Dead by Daylight, this kind of comes in handy with encoding lag. If you're streaming, you may get skipped frames. You know, it's kind of the same across all games. It just skips, it looks pretty bad. And so if you uncap your FPS on Dead by Daylight, recently with OBS, uh, I haven't had the issue. I haven't had skipped frames. But if you are having skipped frames, this may help. Uh, essentially, your GPU is being fully utilized by Dead by Daylight. And if you're encoding with it as well, then it's, yeah, it's being overloaded. And so your game runs perfectly fine, but Dead by Daylight uh, on stream, it's really laggy. So I set mine at 120 FPS. I do still run the game at ultra though. So I'm sure if I put it down to maybe medium or high, I could probably go for 144 FPS, but it's really not that big of a deal. But 60 doesn't look too good if you're used to anything higher than that. Now, if your monitor is 60 Hertz, then uncapping your FPS really doesn't matter since you're still going to be seeing the game at 60 FPS regardless. Uh, you know, you can uncap it, but if your monitor is 60 uh, or whatever, uh, that's as many frames as you'll be able to see. So uncapping your frames allows you to fully utilize your monitor. If you are streaming, then you can set that ceiling to leave a little bit of resources left over for OBS to use. And before we get started, this is only for NVIDIA graphics cards. Uh, for AMD, I'm a little unsure, but uh, yeah, as of now, this is just for NVIDIA. But to get started, in the bottom left, type here to search, we're just going to type in run. And so we'll click on run. We're going to want to type in percent app data percent. We'll press OK. And we're going to actually back out of roaming. This is going to take us into roaming. We're going to uh, click back on app data right here. And then we're going to get three options. Uh, we're going to look for local. Once we're in local, we're going to look for dead by daylight. We will click on it. Go to saved. Config. Windows no editor You're gonna see all of these same files may look a little different because I have them all set up to open in notepad plus plus You can open these in notepad wordpad doesn't really matter as long as you're saving them as an INI file It's no big deal. So we're gonna be looking for one specific file here, and it's going to be the engine INI We're gonna click on that now since uh, most of y'all will probably be using notepad I'll just open it on here all we're going to want to do is click right here beside content and just press enter a few times. We're going to want to paste this and I'll have it in the description as well. Now for max smooth frame rate, you can set it to whatever. To the best of my knowledge, this just completely uncaps the game. It doesn't matter if you set this as 240 or not, but uh, I'm just going to leave it at 240 and just save it. Yeah, you're good to go. So now your frame rate on Dead by Daylight is uncapped and we'll double check that real quick. So pause in here real quick, if you ever want to remove the uncapped FPS and have it at 60 again, all you would do is go under the engine INI file again, and just remove the script, delete it, save it, and you can add a text file just by, you know, right clicking, new, text document, call it, whatever, and this is where you could put the script, for example, just go under the text, you'd paste it in, save it and you're good to go it doesn't affect the game in any way and if you do want to uncap your frames again you would just go under the engine ini file and repaste it from that text document also if you want to pin this location so it's easier to get to because it is in your app data and you have to go through the whole run process again you would just back out of here you would click config and right click it and hit pin to quick access you could pin it to start if you wanted to, but I just do quick access personally, and it puts it on the left hand side here. You can adjust it to wherever you want. So whenever you want to get back here easily, you would just click on it. You know, you'd go in your file explorer and it's right there on the side. You click on it, it takes you right there. So yeah, we'll jump back to the video. I'm also kind of assuming that most of y'all might have a FPS counter as well. I'm using MSI Afterburner. MSI has RivX built in, I believe it is. And it allows you to see your FPS, your GPU utilization, thermals, all that jazz. Okay, so as we can see in the top left here, we've got our FPS right around 140 or so. 
and our GPU right here, this is our utilization rate. It's uh, being used as much as it possibly can. So to cut down on that utilization rate, we can just set the FPS at whatever we want. Uh, for this video, we're gonna be doing 120. That way it leaves just a little bit of resources left over. I haven't had any skipped frames or rendering lag since I've done this. I didn't have that much beforehand, but it certainly comes in handy. So, I mean, if you're just looking to uncap your frames, that's how you're all set. Uh, but if you want to leave a little bit of headroom for OBS and other things to run in the background, then we'll do that real quick. So we'll close out of here. And we're going to want to go to our desktop. Let's run our desktop here. We're going to right click, go to NVIDIA control panel. We're going to want to go under manage 3D settings and then go to program settings. Now, since I've uh, already done this with Dead by Daylight, that's why it's selected. You might not have anything selected. I'm just gonna click this drop down and look for Dead by Daylight on here. Uh, you just click on it. If for whatever reason you're not seeing it, you can click add. You can double check here, it might be easier. Under recently used, might have Dead by Daylight right at the top. But if you're still not seeing it, you can click browse. And the path to get to the exe file i'll leave on the screen here mine's a little different though since i do have my dead by daylight on a, an m.2 drive so it's got a different path from my c drive but for most of y'all yeah you'll probably have it on your c drive or whatever drive you have set for windows so that would normally look like this you would go into your c drive program files x86 and look for steam Steam Apps, Common, Dead by Daylight, click on Dead by Daylight again, Binaries, Windows 64, and this is the exe file. You just click on that. There's also another exe file back here. Not too sure what happens if you use that one, but uh, the one in Binaries is the one that's used whenever the game is launched from Steam. So then we'll click Open, and you're good to go. So all you're gonna be doing here is going under max frame rate. It's gonna have use global setting and we're gonna turn this on. And by default, it's at 58 FPS. We're just gonna set it to 120. You can set it to whatever you want. If you wanna do 144, 240, you can do that. And you're most likely going to have to lower your in-game settings from ultra if you do wanna get past 144. But for the sake of this video, we'll just do 120. We'll press apply and we're good to go so then we'll open up dead by daylight just to make sure it's capped at 120 and there we go so yeah we're at 120 fps and there's a bit of headroom now uh, instead of it being at about 95 percent utilization it's at 85 so we've got about 15 percent to mess with and it, it stays around there even when changing between maps and stuff so yeah that's about it of course if you wanted to change you know the quality you could do that now my gpu is only being utilized about 50 percent or so so yeah if you want to go for that 144 or whatever you can definitely do that but yeah i'm just gonna, I'm gonna change it back to ultra other than that that's about everything if you want to feel free to follow my twitch i stream a lot of dead by daylight on there I've also been doing some hardcore minecraft runs so feel free to pop in for that Subscribe on here if you would like. I'm going to be putting out more uh, stream tutorials and maybe even some game tutorials such as this one for FPS and things like that. I don't know. See what we can do. Uh, but yeah, I want to thank you all for watching. Have a great day. See you later.